Hi, this is Stephen Blair from Solid Angle Support, and in this video I'm just going to walk through the process of installing a new license key. Uh, so I've got my new license key, that's this little thing here on my desktop, and here in my Windows Explorer, basically I have my RLM folder, the folder where I have RLM.exe, the main license server, my Solid Angle dot set file, the solid angle license server, and my previous version of my license. So I'm going to update this license by installing my new license. So before I do that, let's just take a look at this new license because it's a special kind of license. It's different than the license you had before. So if you see this highlighted text here, that's effectively the version now. It's not version 4 or version 5. That version is a date, basically 2014, August, 27. So what that tells me is that this license will let me run any version of Arnold that's released before August 27th of 2014 and that's the date my maintenance expires. So it doesn't matter if we get up to version 10 by then, this license will work for any version of Arnold released before that date. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get on to the details of how to actually install this new license. Now I don't have to get rid of my old license, this one's going to replace it. Uh, so I'm just going to copy it into this folder beside my other license. So once it's there, I just have to basically do a reread with these of the solid angle license server. And I could either do that through the web interface or through the command line. I'm going to show you with uh, how to do it through the web interface because that's pretty simple and it's common to all platforms. I don't have nothing special. So I'm just going to go to the main page. So before I do it, let's just look at what my current license looks like. We'll see here it's for version 4 or 400. It's permanent and I have 10 licenses. I have, basically, so I have 8 here and I have 2 that are reserved. So I basically have reserved 2 for certain users. So 8 plus 2, my 10 licenses. And actually one's in use right now. And that's pretty good to um, give you a good example of what might happen. It's not bad, but what will happen if I update while I, one's in use? Actually, nothing will happen. RLM will take care of it. If I really was concerned about that, I could go show me the usage and, well, I could remove that license, basically take it back from the user. Or I could go talk to them first, or if it's a render node, I can wait till it finishes. But in general, it should be transparent. You shouldn't have to worry about that, or else you can just schedule it for a time when you know licenses are going to be removed, uh, in use, that is. So. All I have to do is click reread restart and in my case I only have solid angle as the ISV. ISV is independent software vendor so you know, if you could have foundry, uh, what, momentum, um, fabric engine, any number of other ISVs in here so you might just pick solid angle because that's the only one you want to reread restart. In my case I could just leave it at all. So reread restart and now my new license is basically going to replace that old license I had. So if I go to status, server status, and we'll see oh, my version now is that date, 2014, 08, 27. I still have 10 licenses, 8. I have 8 plus 2 reserved to give me 10. Sorry, so 8 plus 2 to give me a total of 10. And 1 is still in use. So perfect. Um, everything's done. And that's it. That's all you have to do to uh, basically update to your new license. And, you know, so you can stop watching now, or if you want, I'll show you how to do it with the command line, just for interest sake. You might want to know. So here I have a command prompt. I'm in the folder with uh, my rlm.exe. So if I needed to do this, I would, without using the web interface from the command line, I would use rlmutil, rlm, reread, solid angle and that's basically going to do the same thing it's clicking reread restart in the web interface and if i wanted to check the results uh, here i would do rlm, RLM util rlm stat dash a maybe i just want to do it for solid angle so i can see uh, arnold version 2014 08 two reserved count of you have 8 plus 2 for a total of 10 and ones in use. So the same information that I saw in the web interface and also down here who's using it solid angle at solid angle dash pc. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.